And we, we take pro night. Our athletes, our fighters take pro night. It's a great nighttime supplement to help recovery. Protein, great, and it's only two grams of carbohydrate per serving. So very low, doesn't gain the fighter's weight. It was a quick turnaround for you, you know, there was talk of the fight and then here you are with a chance to win three world heavyweight titles. How are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed, you know, given this opportunity of a lifetime, you know, and for me to make history June 1st, it's a blessing. Thank God for, for giving me those opportunities, plus Eddie Hearns and, and Al Heyman teaming up and making this mega fight happening, so I'm really excited. Has it felt different in training camp? Have you had that little switch flicked on saying this is the big one of course you know especially coming from a training camp going on to a to another training camp so I feel focused I feel motivated and I'm ready to prove all them doubters wrong what is it that makes you think you can be the first man to beat Anthony Joshua I think my style the heart that I have the eye of a tiger um, the speed the combinations that I throw I, I give um, the fighters uh, problems you know because of my style the speed so I think that's what we're gonna do on June 1st and you're used to handling bigger guys you know what you know what you're doing with those tall tall boys of course you know I think um, I think I'm better fighting with, with them tall guys you know tall guys and you know age is gonna be one of the, the hardest fight of my career and you know there, there's gonna be a lot of things that I have to improve and, and to do to win this fight but we're ready I saw some quotes from you saying that you were thinking about Mike Tyson in this fight. You're channeling Iron Mike, the way you're going to come around with the hooks. That's going to be the game plan here. Get low and get over the top. Well, the game plan is to, to stick to the game plan. I don't want to say too much, but letting my hands go, have fun. Like, I, like people say, um, he has more to lose than me. You know, I'm, I'm here. I feel I won by, by getting this opportunity, but... The main goal is to, to become the first Mexican heavyweight champion and, and to have fun and let my hands go. What will that mean to you to put etch your name into the history books as the first Mexican heavyweight champion? Obviously, such a proud nation when it comes to boxing, but never had that heavyweight champion. It'll mean a lot, you know. It'll mean a lot for me, my family, my kids, and, and for Mexico. And, you know, I want to be one of them greats. I want to be in the records. I want to be in, in the books where Andy Reese is a legend for becoming the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world and people not forgetting about that. We know you had the promotional disputes, you had time out of the ring. Did you ever think at that point that you get here, that you get to this moment, Madison Square Garden, you know, a unified champion in your way, but that one punch away from him making history? You know what? Um, I didn't think it was going to, I knew it was going to come, but I didn't think it was going to come this fast. Mm. But as soon as I left top rank, and went to PBC, my whole, the whole thing changed like a blink of an eye. And, um, you know, and I appreciate that from Al Heyman and, and um, all my team around me. And, you know, now we got this opportunity to become the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. And I'm just excited. So Saturday night, June 1st, around 10 o'clock, 10.30, tell us what happens if opening bell goes, talk us through it. What's gonna happen? I'm going to prove all them doubters wrong, all the people that have been telling me that I wasn't going to do nothing, that I'm going to get my ass whooped, that this this chubby wanker is going to lose really fast. But tune in, June 1st on Dan's, there's going to be the biggest upset of Anthony Joshua's career, and there's going to be a new heavyweight champion of the world, and that kid's going to be Andy Ruiz Jr., and he's Mexican.